but why terraform okay now i told you terraform is a provisioning tool okay whatever tools you have in the market as of now most of them are specific for any specific you know uh, use case for example you have ansible you have puppet you have chef you have open shift there are many of them kubernetes talker okay some of them are dedicately for orchestration some of them are for configuration some of them are for management okay terraform entirely focuses only on the provisioning okay it's developed by hashicorp long back in 2014 and latest version of terraform is 1.2.3 which of course keeps on changing every six months they get a new minor and uh, new minor update okay it's written in their go language as i told you and provider support is more than 2000 okay so you have more than 2000 but like if i show you let me open the registry.terraform.io just to show you that how many providers as of now today we have so let me just open the link registry.terraform.io so trip to seven providers as of now what terraform supports uh, and you mark my words today is triple to seven after two days you check it this will cross three zero this is increasing very fast if you go to the providers you will see the list is very long at the top you will see some popular resource providers like aws azure gcp kubernetes alibaba oracle and the list goes on okay if you go there are almost 45 pages on each page almost 50 of them are listed triple to seven is what you have you can filter them according to your different categories okay you want some official images verified images okay so these are the respective providers that you have these are some of the names that we have the providers i just showed you live on the website that where you can see your providers now also if you see one data one statistics from the forbes you know the terraform was ranked at the fourth tool for using for the automation okay and this is the data which is uh, from the uh, forbes list and this is very popular in 2020 this is a uh, two years old data now the ranking will have more better it might go for second or third also okay even as it's a direct connected competitor for the first rank as well because there are many benefits of using terraform i told you that uh, you can use it for multiple cloud service providers okay it's portable team collaboration very secure you know there is a tool which comes from hashicorp called hashicorp vault it's very secure you know most of the people are recommended the organizations the professionals and the corporates are you know recommended to go for that tool whenever they want to store something which is confidential like your secrets your tokens your passwords okay your credentials syntax at sale very easy to learn okay and uh, dry run before making it live you can do a testing do not repeat yourself okay you have many extensions and integrations also so you can use this terraform to integrate with almost all the tools that you have in the market right from ansible to kubernetes everything you can use it to integrate it's very simple as well to integrate also now in terraform there are two approach okay that you can use declarative as well as imperative so terraform follows the declarative approach okay where you define that what you want you don't define the entire process in imperative approach that is a procedural approach what you do you define the process that for example if you have to reach this house then what you have to do reach go to the car or board a bus take this bus number and go there you define the entire step by step procedure in declarative approach that's opposite you just say i want to go to home now it's the role of terraform to do everything in back end okay so that is what the desired state means you define your everything into your terraform configuration which will be your desired state terraform will ensure that your current state always matches your desired state if it is not it will propose you what are the changes that you should do to match your desired state and your current state desired state means the declarative approach that you define in your entire .tf or .tf.json configuration file and for example if there is a mismatch found between the current state on the provider and desired state on the terraform configuration then whenever you do terraform ask terraform to check terraform will tell you that it's not matching you need to run these plans you need to run these resources to match your desired and 
current state so terraform always try to ensure that your infrastructure is on desired state now it also follows you the approach of you know mutable and immutable infrastructures so when i'm saying mutable that means you can update your versioning okay so let's say today you are on version one and tomorrow you want to upgrade to version two okay by doing some updates to your code so you can easily update yourself okay so that's what mutable while there is also an immutable approach where any modifications to your infrastructure will not be allowed it has to be destroyed and recreated okay so the previous entire infrastructure will be destroyed and then only the new will be created with the modified changes okay so mostly uh, we prefer to go with the mutable approach you know where uh, we can upgrade we can modify our infrastructure but there are you know certain restrictions and certain uh, features where you have to strictly follow the immutable approach okay so whenever you will create any resource you will see the documentation that what are the different attributes and arguments that require you know the resource recreation so that has to be very carefully uh, you know documented and uh, noticed that if i do this changes what happens to my infrastructure for example if there is a virtual machine running okay and what happens if i change the virtual machine name on my configuration if it's a name for example as akhil vm and currently it's running with the name called shivansh vm what will happen if i do the changes okay will it go for a mutable approach will it modify or will it go for an immutable approach will it destroy and recreate so these all things are well defined and documented on your terraform registry okay you should carefully take a note of this and then only modify your configurations then we have the i told you that in the market each cloud has its own automation tool okay we have a cloud formation for aws we have azure for uh, arm template azure resource manager for azure we have a uh, google cloud resource manager for google okay there are different different other automation tools for other providers also now the challenge with these tools that we had was cloud formation can help me to automate my provisioning only on aws I cannot use the template of cloud formation to do it on azure similar goes with arm it's only for azure it solves my purpose but only for azure not for deploying it on any other provider and same goes with any other tool okay but terraform there it changes terraform helps you to infrastructure everything okay so be it aws be it azure you can everything now whenever you are using any different different providers okay for example you want to create a resource on aws okay you want to create a resource on azure you want to create a resource on google provide so how do you define it so in your configuration file you have a block called provider with provider block you define the name simple and then these are the ways of authentication okay this will change according to the resource provider for example if it is an aws you need to provide your region your secret key and access key of your account from your aws portal if it is on azure you need to define your subscription id okay your service principal or you can also use the tool called az cli similarly you also have aws cli so there are multiple ways to authenticate that is what this cloud actually this slide wants to mention that whenever you configure your different vendors there are ways to do it using the environment variables okay there are ways to do it using the features there are ways to do it using the tools also like cli tools for respective vendors okay this i will show you when i will be showing you a demo on uh, aws or azure okay i'll show you that how, which tools we are using for authentication so what's the workflow that we follow in uh, terraform the entire workflow now let's talk about terraform workflow in deep so first thing is you define your entire code entire configuration okay so for example you said that i want a ec2 instance okay i want a ec2 or i want a vm in azure and this ec2 should have this image in this region this vm should have this image in this region you define the configuration after that now when you are defining it of course you will be fetching your code either you can do it from the modules so we have a concept of module module is like you know a container 
where you have different configuration files. It's like a container where you have different configuration files. Okay, we have many modules which are available from Terraform, from different community. You can use a module from GitHub, from Bitbucket. There are different repositories that you can use to fetch your modules. You can use it from your local FTP server, SSH URL, different sources that can help you to import your module. Okay, so from any source, irrespective of that, you are defining your infrastructure as a code. We'll not go that deep right now. It will confuse all of you. Now, let's say you have got one infrastructure as a code dot tf file, which you have created. Now you want to create it, let's say on any of the resource provider. Okay, let's say you want to do it on AWS. So the first step that you do is you do a plan. Plan is like a dry run, which will actually not do the changes, but will show you that if you run this Terraform file, what changes will be done on your resource provider? So it will give you the entire result. Okay, that this VM will be created with these details. This EC2 will be created with these details. Every detail will be given to you. Okay, how many, you know, in plan it will show you that how many plans to run, how many plans to destroy. It will ensure to meet your, this is what, this is your desired state that we're defining. And on provider, what you have, you have your current state. So it will ensure that plan will ensure that your current is equal to desire. If there are any mismatch, it will show you in the plan that these plans need to be created to match your desired configuration. If it matches, it will show you a message called no changes required. Your infrastructure matches the configuration. Okay, once you are satisfied that, okay, these changes will be good enough. Then you go for the apply. Apply is means you are executing now this TF file on this using your APIs using your APIs that you have downloaded already from the Terraform registry. Okay, now this apply will connect to your respective provider and will start creating your resource that you have defined here. So be it AWS, be it Azure or GCP or Kubernetes, wherever you have done, it will start creating your resource for you. Okay, so this is the flow that you have and finally your infrastructure is ready. So the entire workflow is first, what is the init command Init is basically to download your provider api and plugins in which directory you are working there you will run this command terraform init because terraform works on the directory level okay so let's say in one folder you have multiple terraform configuration files so whenever you will run any command of terraform terraform will run on all the files it will load all the configuration files into the memory okay so the first command is terraform init which will download a resource provider. It's a good habit to validate your, you know, syntax and other undeclared or undefined arguments and variables so that it should not create a problem later on. So we also have a command called Terraform validate, which will validate for the syntactical errors if you have anything. Once everything is good, now you can go for plan, which will tell you that what action needs to be taken to meet your desired and current state. And once you are Evaluating the results. Now you can go ahead and go for the Terraform apply where it will start executing your changes on your respective resource providers. So this is the basic workflow that you follow in Terraform. Okay, in it, validate, plan, and apply. In between this, you also have a command called FMT, which is basically used for formatting because it's a good practice to keep proper indentations in your blocks so that it's easy to understand that which configuration comes under which which block okay so there we use fmt so this is the entire workflow i hope you must have got an idea that how terraform is now going to work as of now so what are the different cloud providers that we have so a quick i told you this is a different way of authenticating it with different different vendors we have it different for aws different but the logic is same okay you define your provider block and inside provider you just change the name if it is aws aws if it is azure you change the name to azure now each provider has gone its own name okay now question is how you will get the name everything comes from the registry you don't need to go anywhere no need to remember anything just refer to this registry always okay for example let's say that you are saying unsure i want to you okay i want to go for google cloud Pro from gcp so what's the name of a provider? Should I write complete GCP or can I go for short form? No, the name is Google. You should write here 
provider google this is how it should work okay so you can always check it from here next you are saying i want to uh, okay, i want to go for kubernetes what's the provider name it's kubernetes not k it's mostly what we have seen the shortcut you are saying okay i want to go for azure so what's the name for azure it's azure rm it's not just azure so this is how you will see the details of your provider okay and then the respective details of that to authenticate okay for aws the tokens of that for azure the service principles of that and same applies for gcp and other also okay so different cloud vendors have different uh, parameters to authenticate but logic is same inside provider block you will always define it i'll show you you will get more clarity when we go for demonstration now this is a quick picture again the same picture that we have seen earlier azure with terraform where everything is on azure next everything is on aws similarly we have it on gcp also okay it can be on your kubernetes also so different cloud vendors approach is same it can be on helm it can be on anything okay now question is and if you're somebody completely new then you don't have to worry because we have got your back we have properly planned our seven week roadmap so that you can excel in your examination week one would be about what and why about terraform we'll be discussing about terraform installation and basics in week one as well week two would be read generate and modify the configuration week three would consist of provisioners loops data source and built-in functions along with workflow and state management under week fourth we'll be discussing about modules and workspaces along with terraform cli and security in terraform week fifth will be more about terraform cloud and enterprise capabilities week six would be exam registration and some amazing amazing practice questions you'll be having five practice tests that will let you check your knowledge and week seventh would be tips and resources for clearing the exam certification cv preparation and the most important part is our own job support and if you are somebody who is completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and this free class will be covering a lot of topics like cloud and devops overview cloud automation tools terraform cloud formation ansible chef puppet infrastructure automation iac terraform for beginners what why and who should be learning terraform certification extending terraform with ansible chef puppet etc we'll be giving you a demo of vm deployment in aws cloud using terraform and the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your terraform job so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and click on book your free seat now select your event date when you're you're available moving ahead add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes proceed ahead now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right save this link add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then take care and keep learning